dinosaurs, often when put into the spotlight, they're seen as huge towering beasts. And although this is partly true, with some of them reaching titanic sizes like the Megatheropods, Megasauropods and Megafistians, in reality this wasn't accurate for every single dinosaur, and in fact for every huge kaiju sized beast, there was plenty of micro sized reptiles. And in fact that's what we're going to be going over today, because although it is cool seeing huge dinosaurs, I think it's time the smaller guys got their time in the spotlight. So just like we ranked the other reptiles in the videos I did prior, we'll be doing this in size order, with us placing them in 5 different tiers, with the top tiers being the smallest and the bottom tiers being the largest. And just before we get into the video, I think first I need to state what a nanosaur actually is. And first of all, to be a nanosaur, it must first be a non-avis dinosaur. So, no modern day birds or proper birds shall be included. Second, they have to be from the Mesozoic. And finally, they have to weigh less than 5 kilos at maximum. And as well, although I will go over a large majority of dinosaurs in this video, sadly not every nanosaur could be placed in the video. Because if I did that, the video would probably be around an hour long. But with you now knowing how we're going to rank these dinos, let's get into the video. And starting off, we have our 1 star nanosaurs. Which means these guys, although they are small, aren't exactly tiny like the dinosaurs we'll be seeing later. And in fact, these guys have a size range that is 5 to 3 kilos, which means these guys at the high end weigh the same as your average house cat, and at a minimum, weigh the same as 3 billion grains of sand. And starting off our bottom tier of the 1 star nanosaurs is Bambi Raptor. And although this guy is classed as the largest nanosaur, that doesn't exactly mean he's all that big, with him stacking out at 130cm in length and 5000 grams in weight, which like I said earlier means Bambi Raptor is around the same size as your average house cat. Next we have a rather weird looking dinosaur, and that's Cardioptéryx. This Oviraptorsaur weighed 5000 grams like Bambi Raptor, but is slightly smaller in length, with it reaching only 89 centimeters. And as well as technically in this spot, there's actually two different species, and that's Cardiopteryx, Dongi, and Zahu. At first I was going to separate these two, because obviously they're two separate species, but to save time I decided to put them together, because they're in the same genus, and they have pretty much the same size. So in my opinion, it just makes sense to class them both here. After Cardiopteryx, we have a Nanosaur from my all-time favourite dinosaur clade, aka Ceratopsia, and that's Archaeoceratops. This bizarre Funko Pop of a dinosaur reached 90 centimetres from head to tail, and 4,500 grams in weight. And like many of the small ceratopsians we'll be seeing later, this guy lives in the harsh deserts of Cretaceous Mongolia. Next we have one of the earliest dinosaurs on the list, and that's Sedgiosaurus. This Seophysid run the early Jurassic, which meant it existed 80 million years prior to Archaeoceratops. But other than this guy being somewhat ancient, there's not really a lot about this dinosaur we know. What we do know is it was 50 centimeters in length and 4,000 grams in weight, which in my opinion is rather strange considering how slim this creature is presented. And personally, I would have thought if it's 50 centimeters and 4,000 grams, it would be a little bit stockier. Moving on, we have another Dromaeosaur, and that's a Buriraptor. Although I do like small pack hunting Dromaeosaurs and the huge grizzly bear sized Utah and Akilobator, I do have a soft spot for the slightly weirder looking ones, like Buriraptor and Ostroraptor. This raptor reached 150 centimeters, which makes it the largest in length on the list, and it weighed 3,000 grams, which now means we're getting onto the lower end of the 1 star nanosaurs. And next we have another Dromaeosaur, and that's Cynodonthosaurus. But what separates this guy from the rest of its family is this one could actually be venomous. Not to the extent of the Black Mamba or the Taipan, but instead the venom would be injected by its long serrated teeth, and then once it reached the bloodstream, the poor animal's body would be overcome with shock, which would lead to some sort of paralyzing end. And as well, at 90 centimeters and 3000 grams, it was actually light enough to glide, meaning this terror could swoop in from above, land a surprising attack, and once the venom has worked its magic, the hunt is basically over. Moving on, we next have Leonarosaura. This guy originally got its first appearance in the dino documentary Walking with Dinos, where it looked incredibly reptilian, but from what we know this guy is today, it was actually rather feathered, with it kind of looking like a living pom pom, and as well as this bizarre creature's feathering, it also had another notable feature, and that's its humongous tail, which took up half of its 90 cm length. And as well as its length being rather large for a nanosaur, its weight was somewhat large too, with it weighing 3000 grams like Synonophosaurus, the Buriraptor, and the dinosaur we'll be seeing next. And the final dinosaur in this tier is Microceratus. This adorable creature was also in the Ceratopsia family tree, and as well as its cousins, it too lived in Mongolia, where it would be 60cm in length and 3000 grams in weight. 
but with us now wrapping up the one star tier, we can now move on to our two stars, with these dinosaurs getting a size decrease, with them now weighing 3000 to 1000 grams, opposed to 5000 to 3000. And starting off our tier, we have a classic small dinosaur, and that's Compsognathus. And I know for a fact a lot of you guys were actually probably expecting this one to be a lot lower on the list, as a large majority of people actually consider Compi to be the smallest. And although it was small, it wasn't anywhere near the top 10. And in fact, this guy reached 125 centimeters and 2,500 grams, which sadly puts it on the bigger side of the nanosaurs. Moving on, we have a rather confusing dinosaur, and that's Micropachycephalosaurus. And although you would believe this guy's in the Pachycephalosaurid family tree, you'd actually be wrong, because this guy's actually close related to the Ceratopsians, which does make sense when you compare him to Microceratus and whatnot. Moving on to its actual size, Micropachycephalosaurus was 100 centimeters in length and 2,300 grams in weight, which is about the same weight as your average chihuahua. And in my opinion, if I had the choice between a well-behaved vegan herbivore and a yappy rat dog, I think we all know which one I'm going to choose. Moving along, we next have Shuvia. This guy was 60 centimeters in length and 2,000 grams in weight. And like oh so many other dinosaurs we've gone over today, and ones that we'll be going over later, this guy was also from Mongolia. Next we have a genuine spawn of Satan, and that's Pegomastix. This 60 centimeter demon reached 1,900 grams in weight, and it sustained its diet of roots and low-lying vegetation. Unfortunately, in real life, this dinosaur wasn't a thief like it is in the game arc. Moving on, we have Pendrig. And already you can see how weird this dinosaur is, with it reaching 100 centimeters and 1,600 grams, which made it incredibly spindly, with it almost looking like a stick insect to the dinosaur world. Next we have another Ceratopsian, and this time it's not from Mongolia, and instead of Quilops, it's from the early Cretaceous of North America. Although we don't really know much about this dinosaur considering its fragmentary fossils, we can estimate it as 60 centimeters in length, and around the 1,500 gram mark. Moving on, we have a rather niche and underappreciated dinosaur, and that's Auxoraptor. This weird goose Velociraptor hybrid reached 60 centimeters in length, and 1,400 grams in weight. And as well as just appearing like a goose, it also took up the same niche of a semi-aquatic bird-like creature that's probably fed on prey like fish, frogs and other amphibians. And the last dinosaur we have in our two-star category is Proconsognathus. This guy, like Sedgiosaurus, is also incredibly ancient, with existing 210 million years ago. And because of the Triassic's extreme heat, a lot of the dinosaurs there were extremely spindly, and this guy definitely conforms to the idea with it being 110 centimeters and 1,300 grams. And now that we've completed the 1 and 2 star tier, we can move on to our 3 stars. And again, these guys get a size decrease, with them now weighing 1,000 to 500 grams. And the first one here is Enchiomosaurus. This dinosaur, although it may not seem it, is actually related to the Ornithomimosaurs, like Gallimimus and Struthiomimus, and as well to the Megatheropod Dinochirus which is rather cool since his family has two very large extremes, one being a 7 ton duck and the other being 7,000 times lighter at only 1 kilo in weight and as well only reaching 90 centimeters in length. Moving on to our second dino in the free star tier is Saltops. This dinosaur in fact is the earliest dinosaur we have on the list, with it existing 235 million years ago, meaning it predates the likes of Proconsognathus and Sedgiosaurus by 20 to 30 million years. And as well, because it lived in a scorching desert of the Triassic, it too was very soy and snake like in appearance, which granted it the size of 80 centimeters and 1000 grams. And the final dinosaur in this tier is probably also the most well known, and that's Archaeopteryx. This small dinosaur is adorable to say the least, and stacks about 50 centimeters in length and 1000 grams in weight. And with its lightweight body, it allows it to glide from tree to tree making its home environment pretty safe. And now as finishing up that short tier, which was tier 3, we can now move into our 4 star dinosaurs. And these guys get a size decrease again, which makes them rather tiny, with them now weighing 500 to 100 grams. And first on our list is another dinosaur which is commonly stated to be the smallest, but instead it barely scrapes the barrel into the top 10 smallest dinosaurs, and that is Microraptor. This tiny dromaeosaurid actually has no real relation to Archaeopteryx, although they do look similar and are often confused together, it's more just a sign of convergent evolution, and instead Microraptor is actually more closely related to Cynoornithosaurus, but obviously it was a whole lot smaller with it being sized at 77cm and 500g. 
Next we have a bizarre dinosaur which is known as Brutodens. This guy measures at 65 centimeters and 500 grams as well, but differently to Micro and many other tiny dinosaurs, this guy was found in the USA, in the Morrison Formation alongside other classic dinosaurs, like Allosaur, Stegosaurus and Brachiosaurus. Moving on we have a personal favourite and that's EQ. This is an actual flying dinosaur, not a pterosaur because they are flying reptiles, this is an actual flying dinosaur which makes it extremely rare, but it could only do this because of its light frame at 60 centimeters and 380 grams. And speaking of flying dinosaurs, we have another, and that's Amboteryx. This one is only slightly smaller than the, with it being 32 centimeters and 306 grams, but that definitely didn't hold it back in its environment. Moving on, we have a dinosaur that might be a familiar face, depending on if you've seen Planet Dinosaur, and that's Epidoteryx. To its actual size estimates, this guy measures at 30 centimeters and 220 grams. And lastly, we have another weird duck of a dinosaur, and that's Paraviscosaur. This guy is generally adorable, at 39 centimeters and 162 grams. Originally, this guy was actually believed to be a non-avian dinosaur, which would have made it the smallest of the non-avian dinosaurs to ever exist. But as research went on, it turned out it was actually an avian dinosaur, meaning it shared a close relation with Shuvia and Mononychus which sadly meant it wasn't the smallest non-avian dinosaur, but instead it was just one of the smallest avian dinosaurs full stop. And finally we can move on to our 5 star nanosaurs, and these guys are the smallest of the smallest, with them now weighing less than 100 grams. And starting off our tier is Ibramosaurus. This microscopic dinosaur reached 8.7 centimeters in length, and 200 grams in weight, which makes it smaller than your common house sparrow and those things are tiny enough to fit in the palm of your hand. And although this guy is definitely tiny, there's one that outdoes him slightly, and that would be Scansoriobtenex, the smallest dinosaur of all time. Well, it's the smallest in weight because Ibrosaurus is undefeated the smallest in size, at 8.7 centimeters, but this guy is definitely the smallest in weight, with it reaching 25 centimeters and 6.8 grams. So indeed, this is definitely the smallest prehistoric dinosaur of all time. But that was my list for the smallest prehistoric dinosaurs, aka the nanosaurs. Obviously in the future this list will become inaccurate and some dinosaurs might move around, with some getting heavier and some getting lighter. But for now at least it's a pretty solid list, so if you have enjoyed make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. And also before I do go, thank you for 1k subs, it means a lot to me, since this is a large achievement for me. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later, bye bye.